Hi, it's Carla and welcome to Lesson 5 of Kids Art Week. We've done rabbits and imaginary animals and horse collages and uh, cats and today we're going to do elephants. Uh, but we're going to do it in the style of uh, outsider artists. Now outsider artists are famous artists, but they're famous artists that didn't have any necessarily any schooling and they didn't necessarily have access to good art supplies. Um, this is a piece by James Castle. He was completely deaf and he used a lot of cardboard to make animals. Um, and here's a piece by Mamie DeShealy and she also used cardboard and fabric to make this um, wonderful cow. So we're going to make elephants today using this idea. So here are the supplies you'll need for today. You need some black and white paint. It can be tempera or acrylic that's non-toxic. Some glue and possibly some tape. It's optional. Uh, you'll need a paintbrush that's kind of big and flat. Some scissors, maybe a pen and paper. And the main thing you'll need is a box. Any kind of box. Um, a small one will make a small elephant and a larger box will make a larger elephant. So the first thing you're going to do is rip down your box. And the idea is that you're just going to rip it kind of randomly. This is kind of fun. Um, this is a little too square of a piece, so we want to rip it so that it's got a strange shape. And we also want to show some of this corrugated part, the, the part that's textured. So I'm going to just make, make some shapes. We're kind of like making blob shapes with our um, cardboard. Um, I'm going to keep going here. And you don't have to think too much about whether it's going to look like an elephant or not. Remember with the blob animals, we had weird shapes and we could make it into an animal and we're going to do the same thing here. Um, and again, a little too square, so let's make it into a weird shape. Okay, so I have some strange shapes and now what I'm going to do is go through and make sure that each of them has a little bit of the, the corrugated showing and if not I might, I could, I could um, if not I can either tear it so it does like this or I could just um, maybe crinkle up my cardboard and you'll see in a second how this will work. But basically we're going to uh, paint all these gray with a little bit of the brown showing through. So let's get out our paint. So I'm getting out my uh, white paint and my black paint and I'm going to mix up a gray color and it should be a pretty light gray color. Uh, where's my... Um, <laughs> I'm getting the um, water out of my brush a little bit because it doesn't want to be, we don't want this paint to be too, too syrupy. Um, but remember the dark colors go a long way and so I'm just going to add just a little bit of black into my white to mix up a gray. And that's not quite enough so I add a little bit more. And what you want to do is make a pile of paint enough that you can get through um, all the cardboard pieces. But now I'm going to wipe off most of this paint from this one because I want it, it's called a dry brush. I want the brush to be fairly dry, not sopping wet. And then when I paint it, my, my cardboard, I'm just going to kind of drag it across. And this allows the paint to sort of sit on top of the, um, the the up parts of the cardboard and then the brown is showing through. So that's all I want to do is just paint it like this and then move on to the next one. And I'm going to paint all my pieces of paper here and then let them dry and I want you to do the same. 
And the reason we're doing this is elephant skin is wrinkly. It's got wrinkles and some parts are dark and some parts look light. And this makes for some great wrinkly look. Both the dry brush and the natural wrinkles from the cardboard. So all my cardboard, painted cardboard pieces are dry, and now I'm gonna make myself an element, an elephant, and I'm gonna build it using these pieces. So I'm gonna kind of give myself a little space here so that I can, I can work. Um, so this is how I want you to start. I want you to look at your pieces and find one that seems like it might make a nice head. Um, this one seems like it could make a nice head, the beginning of a trunk, um, or this one would make a pretty good head, but I, I'm just gonna start with this one. And then I'm going to look for something to make a trunk with. Now, a lot of my pieces aren't skinny enough, so I might have to use my scissors or tear down a piece to make it um, skinnier. Um, sometimes, though, it's nice to, to go ahead and leave it and so that there is this little bump here, and that makes it look a little bit more interesting. I think I'll just leave it like that for now, and now I'm going to look for some bodies or some pieces th that I can put together to make a body. That's nice and big, and that works pretty well, doesn't it? Now I need some feet, um, or I could add to the body too, if I wanted to. I could put up another piece back here. Maybe I'll do that. Um, I'm gonna break, uh, cut this down and see if this could be a good leg. Oh, it makes a great leg. And now I need to do the same thing for the back. He's looking pretty cute. And sometimes the haunches are a little thicker, so I think I like, I kind of like it. So now, if, once you get to your point where you have an elephant that you like, and I have all these extra pieces, and I can use these to make a second elephant, or if I wanted to make this one a little bigger, I can do that. But what I'm gonna do is take my tape. Um, this is painter's tape, you can use masking tape, and it's just a way to kind of keep everything in place while we're starting to glue. So don't press down hard because you don't want it to pick up the paint, but just a little, a little tape to keep it in its right place. And the first thing you're gonna do is pick up one and glue it down. And you, you need to use kind of a glue that's sort of, uh, you know, like an Elmer's glue or, or a matte medium, uh, because you want it to be thick. Um, a glue stick is just too thin. This is nice and thick, and it's gonna, all this glue will just um, be able to hold together these thick cardboard pieces. So while that's there, I'm gonna lift this up and put some glue here, a lot of glue. And I'm going to leave this. That looks like a nice little tail. And now take your tape and go ahead and stick it back on there just to hold it while it's drying. Now I'm going to come over here. I need to glue on my leg. I need to glue on my head. and really make sure that your pieces overlap so that you have a place to glue them. And put some tape here where you just glued it before it all comes apart. I'm gonna stick this one. And my little bit of tape. And then I need to let that dry. Um, so don't be impatient. You need to let it dry. This might take 10 or 15 minutes. And while you're waiting for that, you can make another elephant with your other pieces if you want. So I'm going to let this dry now. 
I think my glue is almost dry. Let me just show you a trick. Um, before you take off this tape, uh, you can turn it over and go ahead and tape the back to make it a little stronger um, on the areas where things join each other. So I could tape all these things to make them really strong. But I'm going to turn it over here and just very carefully take off my blue tape here. Um, and that way, you want to do it slowly because it can rip up the, um, the paper or the paint. So the slower you do it, then you can kind of catch it if, it, if it's going to do that to you. Okay. So here is my elephant. And I added a little piece. Um, I wanted his trunk to be longer. When I, was, uh, when I looked at it, I saw that it didn't seem quite long enough. Now is the time to put in the eye. And you can do that several ways. You can um, get some buttons um, if you want and just glue those right down onto your um, elephant. Uh, this is a pick that we have, a guitar pick, which would be nice. Um, you can draw right on your elephant or you can draw on a piece of white paper your eye. I, I always like grouchy elephants, so I'm not really sure why. And then cut it out. And then a nice way to glue it is to go ahead and put just a little bit of glue. You're going to use your finger. Um, put it on your paper, on the back. Place it where you want it to go. It could go all kinds of different places. And then take a little bit of that glue on your finger again and then rub it on top of your paper. And that will protect your paper and make it nice and strong. So there is the cardboard elephant inspired by outsider artists. So think about other things you can add. You can even add a, an ear, another ear on top of that, or even just glue it down here so it's, it's a floppy ear. So um, I can't wait to see. You can make a small elephant, or you can make a big elephant, or you can make a really big elephant. I can't wait to see your elephants. Please post them online. And thank you so much for being part of Kids Art Week this year. Can't wait to see you next year.